Ask and ye shall receive. Ah, good afternoon again, YouTube. It is now, um, well, it's 4-something. It says 4.20 on my clock, but it's actually only 4.08, if we look at the correct clock. So, uh, that is where we're at on that. Um, <laughs> ask and ye shall receive. Um, you know, I was sitting here making the other video I did around 1 o'clock this afternoon, and I was trying to come up with something to do for Friday, and lo and behold, this box here showed up in the mail. And Bob should not remind me sending his address because we are BD Electronics now and he may be getting mail for that. So um, let's open it up and see what we got. Okay, it's a, uh, it's a uh, something. <laughs> you know, I took one look at it and I thought, well, that is something. <laughs> Um, you may recall, and I'm going to play a little clip of this here on the uh, tablet, uh, uh, exactly what this is. Hang in there. Alright, now this is the... Uh, now you can hear the sounds a little bit better, thanks to Bob. He said, use the Bluetooth. I didn't even think about that. So yeah, Bluetooth works much better than the uh, speaker Hello, on this. thanks for stopping by. I was watching... Uh one of Doug's videos the other day. It's a great channel, by the way. Check it out. And uh, he had run into a couple of capacitors that he said were the wrong value. They must have been in the wrong compartment in the assortment that he got. And that got me thinking of a problem that I had run into. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit here. He can try to buy, you know, design here. Now here's the actual design and of it. Of course, you know, you, you know, Bob, you've got a 555 DC to DC converter on it, but I'm not trying to take and regulate the voltage on this one, so it works fine. So we have uh, so the let's 5, go a little 5, further. Timer with the one. Put it in position. Here's you testing the uh, circuit. Five point two three. And it seems to work all right. Let's try one Go on down a little further. Semi-professional looking. Now this is exactly what we have in front of us over here on the other view. Took and worked on it a little further, and I took and added a six volt power supply to it. Since we need six volt, that way we can just take and run it off a nine volt battery. I like to take and keep things portable, you know. You just pick it up and carry it and use it. All you need is the uh, a 9 volt battery, the circuit, and a, a, a multimeter to take and hook up to it. On off switch. So for power supply, yeah, I took and put it on Test off switch. switch. LED so we know when it's on. And now this one has a built-in meter. Uh, regulator. With it to and it has a zip socket. Capacitors. Makes it a lot easier. Give us the six volt for the circuit. And that feeds into our momentary contact switch. That's right there. And the, the rest of it is basically the, the same uh, as it was. Here's what it looks like assembled on the, the breadboard. You can see down where I had DUT. He's that got the uh, under tabs. ZIF socket under there. Was, uh, female. Uh, round turn terminals that I like to use in the volt He does still have the meters here the, in case uh, you want to use a separate meter. This meter uh, does the same thing I do believe. Or whatever to take and clip the volt meter onto. But otherwise it, it's exactly like the uh, the other circuit that we had. So let's take this out, hook 9 volts up to this and see how well it does. Okay, let's try our finished product. Turn it on. And I have our 10 volt uh, linear in place. Press the test button. Alright, you can see it works pretty good. That's all I'm going to do with that. 
Um, let me move this over out of the way. So basically what he's done here is uh, basically put this on a um, circuit board, PCB, and he did this pretty much without my knowledge. <laughs> Bob likes to uh, play around a little bit. And uh, this is uh, nice. This is going to be, uh, this will be something we're going to offer on the BD Electronics website. Uh, nothing, uh, yeah, there's, let me, let me explain something to you about Bob. Bob has these ideas so fast, I can't keep up, okay? <laughs> I thought all this time, we were still working on the, uh, BDST. Now, you guys, you know, you may remember that from the last <laughs> video. Now, here he has gone off, and, and this is exactly the same size. He did say that, by the way. I never said that. So, yeah, it's the same size. But he's gone off, and, and he's off in 15 different directions at one time. I tell you what, Bob is just very hard to keep up with. Uh, God love him. Um, so, anyway, I'm trying to get this out the door, and he's sending me stuff like this. He's sending me, you know, stuff like, uh, where is it at? I can't even see it now. Like this. <laughs> and, you know, all this time, in addition to this, uh, I know of one other collaboration kit that he's working on. We're working on, I should say. And uh, that's in the work. So, you know, right away we've got four different things here going on at the same time. Now, I, I'm not opposed to multitasking, <laughs> but come on, Bob. <laughs> Give me a break. Jeez, old Pete. Uh, anyway, now this is, uh, this is a good thing. I like this. Uh, like I said, he's done all this on his own. I really haven't done anything on this at all. And uh, I, I really kind of hate that because I'm supposed to be helping out with these things, and I thought I was doing pretty good. <laughs> But all this time, he's just, uh, he's gone off and went off the deep end. In addition to that, now the, these labels, you know, he's got this color printer now, and that's something Bob hadn't had for a while, so he, uh, he made these up for me. That's nice. Um, I guess Bob Douglas now. <laughs> oh, that's so much fun. I tell you what, he's, he's a cool guy. Uh, in addition to that, let's see, he uh, provided those, and he's got a full board uh, printed thing here and he's got an extra board uh, I guess for me to put together so that's kind of neat I don't have a, a bomb for this or anything like that so I don't know exactly what all the parts are going to be or anything like that I'll try to get to get that list together sometime but I, I'd ask him when he sent this it was kind of funny he sent this and I said hey that's great I said I kind of remember something about that I said you, are you going to do a video on this or what he said hang on <laughs> <laughs> so he sent me the link for the video I was just playing on the uh, tablet right there. So there's our uh, picture of it. Nice deal. Nice, very nice. But uh, changes from V1 and red. Okay. He has changed some things. Barrel jack is included. Okay, he's made... Uh, so he's instead of doing just that, he's putting a barrel jack there. And he's changed around the layout just a little bit. The meter still goes there. I didn't really understand what this was for to begin with, but now I do. And uh, I see that it's, uh, you know, pretty neat. That will work. So I'm glad about that. That's nice. Um, anyway, like I said, that's, uh, that's, what, that's what he did. You know Bob. You know Bob. Or you should know Bob if you don't know Bob. And if you guys haven't subscribed to his channel, you really need to do that. He doesn't put out a lot of videos, but they're quality videos when he does put out one. Uh, they're not like the garbage I put out. <laughs> and the only, only time minor quality is when he's involved. <laughs> now, he did also mention that the um, uh, standoffs that are on this one uh, are just... You can do it this way, or they uh, use the... Um, all the uh, computer type uh, motherboard standoffs and he even sent a link for those that uh, can be used to uh, mount it in a case or whatever and that will be nice so uh, I don't know that we're going to develop a full 
uh, kit for this. I haven't really spoken with him about this that much. Um, so, you know, let's... Uh, I was going to say, let me hook it up to a battery just to see if it, what it does. I don't know that I even have any zeners to test, to tell you the truth. Uh, I'm not like Bob. I don't have everything in the world at my fingertips. <laughs> and that's not meant as a put-down. Uh, he, he, he has a lot of stuff you know, he keeps on hand and stock, as he says. And... Uh, Let's see what we got. Let's see if we at least get the uh, power light to light up. How's that? That would be neat, wouldn't it? The LED. Get the LED to light. Oh, yeah. Looky there. Now that is nice. So basically, I'm assuming, and Bob, you can correct me on this uh, if you want, the um, uh, Zener in question and to be tested can be fit across this on any two pins, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I'm sure they don't go this way, but it probably goes across this way, right? Alright, uh, we are now hooked up correctly, uh, according to Bob. <laughs> and again, these are 12-volt uh, zeners. Let me hit the test button. And we'll see what we got. 12.3! How about that? Now, uh, he did tell me that the uh, cathode was supposed to go... Now, I don't know how he thought I would know this, but... He told me the cathode was supposed to go in one of the top four holes. Cathode here, anode here. <laughs> so, now that I know that, well, you know, that's much easier to know. Much easier to uh, figure out. So, that's what we'll do. Let's try it again with another one. Twelve point two. Yay! It works! <laughs> All right, well, like I said, this has uh, been an interesting experiment. Um, I had asked him when he sent the, uh, or when I opened the package originally, I said, you know, you're going to have to tell me how to use this thing. Oh, here, let me let me show you this video. Well, that video <laughs> didn't tell me nothing. I mean, I watched the whole thing, but it had nothing to do with this, you know. So anyway, uh, that's good. It does work. We're glad of that. And uh, I'm going to add this to the original video that I did with it not working. And <laughs> I will delete that part of it because I didn't have it hooked up right. So I didn't want to mess it up, you know, that way. So that's about it. So happy about that. And like I said, we are definitely working on uh, things here. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it was, uh, it's a good deal. Bob's an intelligent individual, and uh, very happy about that. Uh, I'm going to do this again for Ron, just in case you didn't know. Uh, I don't know how well you saw that other video. There's the uh, there's the pot right there installed. You have three rows of pins there, two on the bottom, and it fits in just like that. So, now I think Ron said something about putting a picture of the switch in. I believe, and I, I can't find where he said that at. Now I was looking for it last night, but I couldn't find it. So that's uh, and he did mention something about soldering it on top. Well, that, that's the only way you can solder it, I think, because once this board is in the uh, in the, the case mounted like it's supposed to be, and you put the switch in, and the only place you can get to it is here. You can't obviously you can't flip it over and get it to it because there's no way of doing it. It should be screwed down at that point. So, I, I don't We'll have to talk more about that, Ron. So, anyway, that's going to do me. Uh, like I said, I didn't really mean, mean to make a big, long um, video again, but I did, didn't I? <laughs> so, um, I have got a lot to do on this tablet to keep, keep up with what I'm supposed to be doing as far as how it works and things like that, so... All right, you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see ya.